Hey guys, JC Cubes here. Today I'm back with an unboxing from thecubicle.com. Let's get right into it. All right, so as you guys can now see, inside this box is all six of the new Fangshin dinosaur puzzles. I'm gonna take them out of the box and then we can dive right into them. So here are all six of the puzzles. This is one of Fangshin's newest releases, and I think it's actually really cool. Just a quick reference, each one of these cubes by themselves costs $6.99, but the cubicle has a deal where if you buy all six of them together, it is only $41 for all six. And when I bought them, they were actually marked down to $37, so that was really nice. All right, so as you can see, there's six different dinosaurs here. We have a Parasaurolophus, a T-Rex, a Diplodocus, a Styracosaurus, an Ankylosaurus, and a Stegosaurus. Even though there are six different types of dinosaurs here, um, generally they do all share the same characteristics in terms of the box. So I'm just gonna quickly go into what one of the boxes look like, and then from there you can kind of get the gist of what they all look like. That way we can just dive deeper into the puzzles all at once. So as you can see, whatever puzzle it is, is pictured on top as well as the front and it labels the type of dinosaur. Uh, you see the Fangshin brand as well, and some warning labels on the bottom. You see the side says Dino Puzzle, the back says Dino Puzzle. We have their little saying, I guess, but they all generally share that same sort of design for their box, obviously shaped to the dinosaur. I think with that being said, we should just dive into all six dinosaurs at once. So, here they all are. So typically when you get a cube, it does come with an instructions pamphlet on how to solve the cube. And so this is the same case with all of these puzzles. But one thing that I did find quite interesting was that they did tailor each information pamphlet to the specific dinosaur. And they're also color coordinated as well. As you can see here with the Stegosaurus, for example, um, this pamphlet does come tailored specifically to this dinosaur. So as you can see, it pictured here. And then it also references back to a two by two by three because essentially all these cubes are, are just shape mods of a two by two by three. And then again, you can see on the back, it explains to you how you would go to perform a solve on this cube. So one thing I noticed right away was there's two different styles to these dinosaur puzzles. One being the four-legged and the other being the two-legged. With all of the four-legged dinosaurs here, they all turn like you would expect the two by two by three to turn directly down the center and split in half as well here. Whereas with the two-legged dinosaurs, as you can see, they rotate more on an angle. So essentially it still is a two by two by three, but instead of it being cut down the center of the dinosaur, it is cut on a slant, which is interesting. All right, so let's get into some first turns with our T-Rex here. So as you can see, as I'm doing this checkerboard pattern, these dinosaurs do shapeshift quite a lot actually. Let's try out our Stegosaurus. It's a nice checkerboard. Um, yeah, so honestly, I would say for being just some shape mod cubes, I do think that they turn actually quite well. Um, essentially, they are pretty dry and they don't quite line up 100% on every turn you do. But again, they're just some shape mods. And I think uh, for the price you're paying for such a cube, they work very well. And they get the job done, you know? So one thing I will admit is I really love the plastic that these are made out of. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but these are all basically made of a frosted plastic with um, their accents being in a more polished plastic, which I think makes for a really neat look to the cube. Um, and I think it suits these cubes quite well. All right, well, with that being said, I think we should scramble these all up. And so as you can see, they clearly do shape shift and quite a lot actually, but I'm gonna do a quick song and then we'll wrap this video up. Let's go with the Ankylosaurus. All right, so there we go. It took a bit longer than I expected, but I did end up solving it. It was actually quite a fun solve. Um, obviously I don't solve two by two by threes all that often, but I did think it was fun 
just try and figure it out uh, intuitively a bit. Um, one thing I did notice was just there was a couple locks. So right where uh, the four pieces meet, sometimes you can see like it gets locked up a little bit, just minor catches, um, nothing too major. It did interrupt the solve a bit, but again, uh, I still think it was a really fun solve. I don't think it interrupted it too much. Um, I really did enjoy that though, and it was kind of challenging uh, just for somebody who doesn't really solve shape mods or much other than WCA puzzles that often. So yeah, um, I'm gonna quickly solve these ones up and then we'll wrap up the video. All right, and so just like that, they're solved again. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I really enjoyed opening these puzzles. I think I'm going to have to make some room for them on my shelf because I, again, I'm a huge fan of dinosaurs and these are some sick puzzles. Um, I do have to say, I really enjoy the design, the look, the feel. They're really fun puzzles to solve. And I think Fangshin did a really, really nice job on these. Uh, again, with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.